All right, so here's what I, here's how far I've come. This is my Yeti 1000, and right now I've got it charging via the sun. This is a Goal Zero uh, MC4 to Anderson connector, going right to the 12 12 volt or input side rather input. And I've got three 100 watt panels from a company called All Powers um, that I got from Amazon. It was Amazon's suggested. I put three in my cart. For some reason, one looks different than the other two. Not quite sure if that makes any difference. Testing these panels individually, um, they're all getting about 50 watts, which I don't know. I just I think that's kind of low. Um, I've tested them absolutely flat. I've tested them a little bit bent. I've tested them angling the sun. Uh, nothing really seems to make any difference. The most I've ever gotten was about 55 watts. And then what I did was, uh, per a recommendation from an employee at Goal Zero, I got three parallel connectors. Uh, sorry, branch connectors, uh, three to one. And then I got these extension wires that will eventually be installed in my RV conversion. And the problem I'm facing now is that 154 watts, 160 I would say, is about the most that I've seen from three panels. Now, I know that solar panels are not meant to be rated at 100, which means they get 100, but I've seen people use random, all kinds of different brands on YouTube, and their results vary, but none of them seem to be this low. So I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong here. Um, I've hooked everything up parallel. Uh, I don't know if, I don't necessarily want to experiment by hooking them up in series, because I'm not sure if the inverter uh, is designed to take that kind of voltage. But, uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm a little disappointed um, in, in the total performance of what I'm doing. The Yeti 1000 has been, has been awesome. It's, uh, I charge it up with house power, and uh, when I take it to different jobs, it's absolutely performed without question. I had a couple of issues. Just once in a while, the 5-volt light would pop on for no reason. And about three or four times, the AC inverter side shut off on its own. Wasn't really sure why. I would hit the reset button here. It seemed to clear things, but um, not sure why those problems were happening in the first place. But uh, all in all, so far, a very good experience with the Yeti 1000 battery itself. Uh, my concern, of course, now is how to charge this thing when we're on the road and uh, we're parked with no shore power, no way to power the battery other than solar really um, and I'm just kind of banking on these to to be at least somewhat close even 70 80 watts would do but uh, 50 watts I don't know I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here or what but uh, that's where I'm at so any help would be great thanks for watching